The annual CES is wrapping up its week-long convention in Las Vegas today. This year's show had no shortage of astonishing new technology. The event included exhibits from a record-breaking 1,400 startups. It featured some of the industry's latest advances across virtual reality, robots, and the growing realm of artificial intelligence. Let's bring in Nick Wolney. He is a senior editor at CNET. Hi there, Nick. So can you give us an overview of how AI factored into this year's show and which brands got it right? AI was definitely the name of the game on the CES show floor, and after over a year of AI being really popular in media coverage, it was nice to see a lot of different exhibitors take that AI technology, integrate it into their gadgets, and present it as an option for consumers, uh, particularly in smart home technology and wellness technology. One product I personally tested was a smart mirror. This mirror, uh, it measured the blood flow patterns in my face in about a 30-second scan, what? and then from there it gave me Yes, various different health markers. So it measured my blood pressure, it measured my resting heart rate, and it actually, I'm someone who has slightly high cholesterol. This mirror clocked it, so it was pretty what? impressive. Uh, we also saw an AI <laughs> toothbrush. Uh, so this is a toothbrush that will map the inside of your mouth while you're brushing, and then over time, it'll be able to show you your brush patterns just in case you're missing some spots. I think those are good examples of how these gadget companies and startups are integrating AI in a way that's really practical and helpful for the lay consumer. Yeah, what does this suggest, Nick? Uh, you know, the fact that you, you're you seeing devices like this magic mirror and this Wi-Fi toothbrush, what does that suggest about where these companies think this consumer interest will really be? Because there are a lot of these kinds of products out there that purport to help you improve your health. Yeah, it varies in terms of how much that AI technology really actually helps the consumer mm -hmm. <laughs> rather than it just being marketing spin. And so what I think what will happen over time is that consumers will end up getting used to having technology, having smart technology that incorporates AI in some way. And what that means is that it's a device that will continue to learn and improve over time. Uh, we saw this across the board. My colleague, David Watsky, who covers kitchen technology, he was seeing all kinds of a uh, grills that will cook your steak to the perfect temperature uh, every single time using AI technology, just things like that. And what I think what will happen as a result of that is that consumers will come to expect their device or their smart home item, whatever that may be, get smarter and be able to provide real-time feedback, cumulative feedback, in order for the consumer to have a higher quality of life. So was there anything that really jumped out uh, at, at you, Nick, with respect to sort of newness in this realm of interactive technology. Yeah, we saw one startup called DoublePoint that debuted an app that can turn a smartwatch into a remote control or into a mouse. Uh, oh. And so at their booth, we were able to see, uh, you know, my colleague Lisa Itachiko did the video for that, actually. She was able to put the smartwatch on, and then just with a turn of her wrist, she was able to dim the lights or turn the lights back up on a lamp that they had at their booth. They also had uh, a watch that you could use as a mouse, and just with tapping your fingers, you could browse Netflix, you could could browse web pages on a laptop. And so we thought this technology was important and notable because in order for us to move into this world of AR and VR, which has been really buzzy for a while, consumers are going to have to learn touchless technology. It's called micro gestures or gesture technology. They're going to have to get used to just flicking their wrist or tapping their fingers together in order to navigate the web and other use cases. And so we think this is going to be a really important precursor in terms of AR and VR success in the that, future. It's really interesting to see that. Uh, in our last 30 seconds, tell us about the innovations for television viewers. We saw a glare-free TV from Samsung, which was pretty exciting. You know, the thing about AI was that we were expecting that. So it was cool, but it was not surprising. But when we do see this tech that is surprising, uh, like this glare-free television, especially when it's consumer-facing, it's good. You know, if you're someone who has to move your TV around in the living room, then you're not going to have to worry about that anymore. People have to do that, I guess. Yeah. Nick Wolney. Nick, thank you so much. Really interesting stuff. Thank you.